Hi, my name is Hannah Kosinski. I work in the ADE Loan Library here in the IHD department at NAU. Uh, today we're going to talk about switch adapting plush toys that you can buy locally. Here's uh, the guy that we're going to switch adapt today. He's a little bunny that we got at Walgreens 50% uh, off the day after Easter. So he's only seven or eight dollars. Okay, thank you for tuning in today. Okay, so today we're going to switch adapt a plush toy that we bought at Walgreens. Uh, we just got him on sale. Easter was yesterday, so Walgreens is a good place to get them um, after season. Uh, I think he was seven or eight dollars. Okay, so I went ahead and already cut open his foot where his switch is, and he has a button switch, so it activates. When you push it, so that is his button switch. Okay, so I went ahead and seam ripped and exposed his wires, and then I um, color coded the wires. So one's green and one's red, and you can just put tape on one or tape on both of them, different colors, right on one, whatever you want, just so you can tell the difference. And I also hold on his wires a little bit to expose them because they're hidden inside the toy. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is take our speaker wire and we have 22 to 24 gauge speaker wire and it looks like this. We get it from Radio Shack. Um, it's dual wire, meaning it has two wires that have come together. So two wires put together just like that. So we're going to take as much as we need, probably about a foot and a half. So probably do about that much. And then just using some wire cutters and cut that. So a couple things that you need, actually I want to say before we get started here. Um, you need your switch adapted toy. Um, you need some seam rippers, some wire cutters, or wire strippers, your 24 to 22 gauge speaker wire, um, some electrical tape. I like to use different colors. Um, and then optional if you want, um, some alligator clips. And then we have this piece of wood that has alligator clips just um, drilled and then fit it in there. And you'll also need the last, um, you'll need a fourth of an inch mono inline foam jack um, and then of course a soldering iron and some solder. Okay, so now that we've cut our speaker wire, we can go ahead and cut one end and strip it. My wire strippers. So we're just going to cut a little bit, pull them apart, so just like that, and then we can strip these. Then maybe you need about half an inch or less, not too much. strip the wire of the toy. So let's start with the red. Come in and cut it. And then we're going to strip it about a fourth of an inch or less because it's a very small wire. So you don't need much. Just like that. So we're going to do both ends. So now taking 
one end of our stripped sweetener wire. We're going to bring these together. This is a good time to use an alligator clip just to hold everything together. And then you're going to twist everything together. Okay, and then holding our soldering iron like a pen or a pencil, we're going to come in and just solder it together. And that will harden within seconds. Okay. So now just take a little bit of electrical tape and cover that up just because if any wires connect in the toy then it activates the toy and we only want it to activate when we want it not on its own okay that's one and now we're going to do it with the other one one's done come in here and cut it and strip it about a fourth of an inch or less, not very much. Same thing with this side. Okay. Using our alligator clip, we're going to hold everything together. Make sure you get all the wires in there. If you don't, it won't work. The wires are kind of taut, so they're not very loose in the toy, so that's why I recommend using a um, alligator clip, because it just holds them together. Okay, now we're going to solder this. Make sure you get all the wires. Okay, and now we're going to wrap that up with a little piece of electrical tape. end of the toy. Now we're going to do the other end uh, with our foam jack. So we get our foam jacks from Radio Shack, but you can get them from any electronics store. Best Buy has them. Um, you can get them online too. Amazon has them. The unique thing about the foam jack is that it has two pieces. So we want to make sure we unscrew the two pieces and then put the plastic glue on first. There's a, a big end and a small end. So we want to make sure we put the small end on first, so not the big end. The small end, so now that that's on, now we can uh, solder the end of this to our foam jack. So just like we did before, we're going to go in and separate this. So we're going to go in and separate this. Pull them apart. So just like that. I'm going to strip these half an inch or less. And 
both sides. And if you end up cutting too many wires like I did on this one, you can see how this one has more wires than that one. Um, real easy fix. We're just going to snip that off. And we're going to do it again. Okay, just like that. Okay, so each end is going to go on a different uh, place on the phone jack. So there's a tall piece where one can go. There's a little hole. I don't know if you can see that. And then on the bottom, there's also another place. Um, so we're going to be soldering to the tall one and the short one. Okay, so just before we do this, let's check to make sure that our connection works. And it does! So it's good. We know that we soldered correctly. Okay, so now we can go ahead and put this in. We're going to do one at a time. Okay. I'm going to use my block here to hold it. Oh, we saw it. Okay, and holding your soldering iron like a pen or a pencil. Just like so. We're going to go in and solder it. Just making sure that there's a connection, that they're joined together. Okay. Let that cool for a second before we cover it with electrical tape and we'll move on. The bottom. Okay. So the bottom also has a hole. We can put this in. And that's okay if it activates because it's good. It just shows that our connection is good. shows that our connections are good. So, okay, so now that we got that guy, just like that, I'm going to solder him as well. Okay, holding our solder up the pen. do it and to make sure that these wires don't touch we're going to put a little piece of electrical tape just because as you saw he'll activate if uh, there's any connection between even the metal. So we're going to go ahead and put a piece of electrical tape. Keep everything separate. We'll start with a little on that piece. Everything separate. So that's good on that one. And now this one we can go ahead and do as well. Okay. Okay, so now that everything is covered up and soldered, we can go ahead and put our sleeves back on. So we've got our soldering done and electrical tape wrapped around our two different wires. And now we can go ahead with our sleeve, tuck everything in there. Might have to do some twisting. It should just fit in nicely. Okay, and so now we can test our toy. So using a switch, we 
Here's our toy. <laughs> We're going to see that he works. And he should activate. You'll hear him. And he does. Okay. So you can see that if we push the switch, it should activate him. And if we push again, he deactivates. So perfect. That's exactly what we're looking for. And so now the last step that you would do with this guy is you tuck your wires in and you sew them back up. And so you'll just need some needle and thread uh, to do that. And that's it. It's as simple as it is. And you have your very own store-bought switch adapted toy.